What's up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 22 of Ajin and this episode was epic. Sato is unstoppable. There's, there's no way. Oh, that was incredible. Some manga readers, they, they did tell me that where we're at right now is not in the manga. However, even though this whole content thing that we're into right now isn't in the manga, I still really enjoyed this. I'm not gonna lie, this was so epic. I mean, come on. The fact that Sato's IBM can move on its own, even if Sato is knocked out. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I cannot believe Sato prepared for this. Just in case if he was ever knocked out. No worries, his IBM has got this incredible. And I was like really surprised because like, you know, Kay, he, he had a good plan. I thought his plan was stupid at first, but then we see that um, Izumi and Nakano, they popped up, tried to get Sato, that failed. But then what impressed me was that Kay used his IBM to shoot Sato. So I was like, wow, ah, okay, that's good. But... That didn't end up working because Sato's IBM can move on its own. Oh man, amazing. Now we see K act human for once. He cried over someone else's death. First, he watched someone that we thought he didn't care about anyone, but he seemed to have some sort of a connection, you know, with the one man that died. He had the glasses and, and beard. He was like at first getting choked by the IBM and then he was ultimately killed. And Kay kept on saying that he just wants his quiet life back. He just wants his quiet life. That's all he wants. But it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be just that anymore. Perhaps he liked spending time with this, his new group of, of, a. Uh, Friends? Friends are really like his teammates, but he likes this new group that he's in. He likes where he's at and doesn't want that to change. I mean, it's kind of like when he lived back over with uh, the granny over in the countryside, you know? He liked that life. Even though there was another person involved, he still cherished that. So we finally see some sort of human characteristic for Kay. Uh, suddenly possibly caring for others. We're not too sure just yet. I need to see a little more to see if he actually does care about other people, but he's starting to definitely build a connection with others. So that's great to see. And in the end, Sato ended up taking the president, shooting the president, and Tanaka was just like, wait, but, but what about our rights? We, we could have got this guy. We could have got him to admit what he has done and give equal rights to Ajin. And Sato's just like, Oh no, rights are just given to you. You got to you got to take it for yourself. You make the rights. So Sato, he like Kay says just wants to play a game. And even after he takes over the country, he's still going to want more cuz he just wants to have fun. He hates the boring, mundane, quiet life that Kay ever so desires and wants to go crazy on everyone. Now that is how you make a sadist character. That is a sadistic character done right. Thank you. Thank you. Sato is absolutely amazing. And just, again, contender for villain of the year. It really is. Like him and Kira, man, from JoJo, you know. Was, those two villains, amazing. The best of the best. Yeah, that was this episode. A amazingly entertaining. We got more from Kay's side, we got to learn more from Sato's side, and uh, now what? <laughs> oh, what's gonna be the next phase? Well, you know, the fact that Sato's gonna take over the country, but how is he gonna do that? I'm your female otaku, sayonara. <laughs> Mom, why me?